Hello everyone, Katie here again. Um, today I have, I don't like to use the word haul. It's not a haul. It's just since I was thinking of starting my YouTube channel, the things I've been buying, I've been putting aside so that I can do, you know, unboxings and that kind of thing. But again, I don't want to make this just like a shopping channel or um, just purses, even though you might get that impression with today's video. Um, so a little bit, I like tea. I collect teacups that I drink coffee in, but I like the teacups because they're just wider and prettier. And um, I'm having my coffee today. And I decided, you know what? I want to organize these boxes. So we are going to film the video today, even though my hair is not done, but whatever. This is from my like wedding china. But again, I collect teacups, so I have a, a ton of them. So I'll start with something that I blindly bought and that I don't really, I don't know how people do reviews on. I mean, I watch them, the perfume reviews. I am also a perfume fanatic. So I blind bought this perfume because the commercial got to me. Um, Emma Watson is, uh, is on the ads. And also, um, I like the descriptions that I read like on YouTube. So it was blind buy because I didn't get to smell it beforehand. And so far so good. I really like the design bottle, um, the, bo the design of the bottle. And um, it smells a little bit fruitier than I expected it to. But then the dry, see, I'm usually, I like woody, musky, white floral smells, ambery, like spicy that way. And this is a little more candied, but I don't regret buying it because I do like it. It's more summery because usually the fragrances that I'm more attracted to are more like autumn, fall, winter, like they're heavier fragrances. I mean, I like like tobacco and leather and manly smells and um, like I said, woody. Uh, musky white florals I've been learning what it is that I like because I just smell and I like and then you know but I've been learning more of what the words are so the first thing I had to go pick up which by the way I should I might do another video on that one day but um I have a few pieces by Dose T-O-U-S the jewel the Spanish jewelry brand and I had to go to the mall because I dropped it off a few weeks ago. One of my uh, chains that I, when I wear jewelry, like I wear the same thing for months. Like I've been wearing this K for like five weeks now. This is the initial necklace from Anthropology from, it's from a few years ago, but they do still carry it. And um, anyway, the point is I have this bear, like their signature bear from Toes, um, rose gold necklace. And, um, you know, my son, decided to dangle from it one day and it's very dainty and and it broke and I brought it into Toast and they have ex excellent customer service you know they, they fixed it it was free of charge even though I told you know I told them what had happened I, I, I had it for almost a year now so anyway the point is that I had to go pick it up at the mall and so I was there you know I need some shorts and uh because I realized I don't really have shorts and summer's coming so I went into Club Monaco. I really like their brand. This is, I think, one of the stores that through time has maintained uh, its quality. Um, because it's like, I have pieces from when I was a kid from The Gap that are like eternal and destructible. And now I buy something from The Gap and like if you stare at it too long, like a hole starts to form in the sweater or they pit pill or you know it fades quickly um the quality of the gap has gone down like dramatically but anyway the point is that um i think club monaco is one of those brands that it's a little bit on the pricier side for you know i mean like it's not dolce and gabbana or anything like that but um as i'm saying like it's not that kind of haute couture maybe but it's on the higher end and um but their pieces again i had i have a turtleneck that actually my friend Marielle gifted me um, when we were in college and it looks brand new and I don't take care of it in the sense of like I wear it I just throw it in the wash it's not like I take it to dry cleaning um and the black is still very black and um anyway the point is so I got a few pieces at Club Monaco even though I said I wasn't gonna shop but I really do need shorts like I have none so 
so the first ones maybe i'll do like a try on or i'm i'm gonna start doing more like um outfit of the days because i love those posts on like instagram it's just that most of the time i'm wearing like yoga pants and this kind of outfit um but i do dress up because i love to dress up and these are the linen blend shorts and this is gray mist this is really i mean i think it's showing white on the screen but it's this like misty blue bluish gray bluish it's really pretty and it fits it's high-waisted and it's very flattering very very flattering and these are very structured and very flattering as well these are like a um they're also linen but they're these are softer these are called the textured high-rise short and suit black like they're more of like the dressy pants material i really wanted a shirt uh, to go with this but they didn't have my size in store and they're also sold out online so i just signed up for alerts and then the last thing some of my friends will see this video and say i thought you said you weren't going to shop anymore i don't want to shop like i have enough clothes except for i didn't have shorts um but i saw this uh romper and i was a little bit obsessed with it and then when i went into the store i was like let me just try it on and I ended up getting it. And I think this will go very, very well with my blue Cezanne bag. This is a navy. Oh, let me see. Oh, I left the belt untied. So let me just tie it so you guys can see it better. If you look online at the picture, like you could see it uh, much, much better, of course. This one's called the Belted Puff Sleeve Eyelet Blue Marine. Um, romper because it's a romper and this is it and this fits really really nice i mean it it, it accentuates i guess because it's belted but it's also like the stitching is um like well the way the stitching is in it that it's belted it's um it's very flattering like it makes you look very like your waist like smaller than it actually is okay and then, not, this is not mine, that was a gift. And then I bought this. I don't yet have travel plans for the summer because I don't know what happened to me this year. Last year I had everything planned out since October of the previous year. Um, I have a travel bag from Longchamp um, that I love. It's this red bag and it's, you know, I take it everywhere. It's my carry-on. And when it's not my carry-on, it's my spare bag that I take, like, that's where I brought my pull-in bags from France because um, I just took it in case I bought stuff over there. Um, it's huge. It's the red one. I might show it, I guess, in some other video because it's in my closet now. So, I saw this pink one. And... I just felt that I had to like get it even though I mean the red is a very deep red and um you know like it's not I'm not too worried about getting it dirty and stuff like I wash it and this is a very very light pink um and you know usually when I travel like I'm with my kids and it's not like I'm Anyway, the point, I'm not trying to be extremely delicate with luggage and stuff like that. Um, so this is the pink. Oh, I forget the color. I just had it like on the tip of my tongue. I think it's called Petal Pink. So it's this travel bag. It's for travel. You know, it's a, your carry-on or again, the spare bag if you intend to bring things back. And I just really liked it. Um, did I need this? No. Um, but I, I believe this is from their new line. I believe this is from their new line. And I... I am going to try more next time that I travel to like... Um, not underpack, but you know, to set out the outfits and all that kind of stuff so that I don't overpack because it's very miserable when you overpack and you have 15 suitcases 
and two little kids running around. Um, you know, I mean, my husband's also on these trips, but it's a lot to maneuver five, four suitcases with, with the two kids and a stroller and yeah. So anyway, um, I'm going to try more to just do like one of these bags and my smaller suitcase um, for carry on. We'll see how that goes. And now for main attraction number one, Oops. main attraction number one, I know it's another bag. So this bag, um, long story short is that I just got into recently, I mean, I finished, I finished all the seasons, um, but I just got into Ted Lasso. It was recommended by a lot of my friends. And anyway, of course, me being me, one of the first things that I noticed and fell in love with was one of Rebecca Walton's bags. And I couldn't find it online for some reason when I like Googled it um, one night. But then I met up with my friend, who's, with my friend who's another a bag lover. And she was like, oh, I told her about this person. She's like, oh, you mean the Dolce & Gabbana purse? I am in love with that purse. I have it in the car. Like, I want to get it. And um, anyway, once I had the brand, of course, I found the bag online. And um, I mean, I unboxed it from the mailbox that it came in, but I haven't yet opened it. So I'm going to open it now. And we shall see. I got it in the gray color. So I, I believe it's the same color that Rebecca has. Um, in the show they have maybe six or seven colors like there's red there's black but anyway i wanted it in this color i guess i'm on a lighter bag kick these days oh it's so pretty it is so pretty et voila this is the bag of course i can't review it because i just got it um I thought in the show it looked bigger, but this is the medium size. Like this is the, this is the biggest size that was on their website. So, um, it's very muted, um, in the sense of like, it's not like big labels. It does have like the little Dolce & Gabbana plaque here, but you really have to like get in there to read it. Um, I love this handle. Um, I can't wait to wear this with like a pencil skirt and you know, channel my inner Rebecca Walton oh one thing that I didn't like and I did see this on YouTube because of course either you know before I ordered I still also saw reviews but I guess all of these bags come with um the leopard print inside I had a phase where I was into leopard print in my life um a few years ago but I'm so over it except for these um shoes that I have they're from J Crew. they're um flats that have the um leopard print and so so this is the inside and you see the leopard print yeah i'm not a fan of that again i don't know like i just like i was really into like i had uh, leopard print sweaters i had leopard i had leopard print heels and the leopard print flats which i've only kept the flats um yeah i was really into leopard print i don't know it was like maybe everybody was because clearly i found these items to buy um but it's on the inside so i'm okay with it because i love the exterior of the bag so much that i'm okay with it oh you guys sorry my coffee's gonna get cold so i'm just gonna I'm almost done with it. It's so pretty. I really, I can't wait to like wear it. <sighs> and then I just have two more things. Two more things. So. It's another Palen bag. I already, it's a Siamy or Siam, Siamy. I really don't know how to pronounce this, C-Y-M-E. It's the um, number 12. 
originally when i saw this bag that's the one that i wanted of the number 12s right this one that i'm about to show you but i thought it'd be more practical to get the cognac leather um it's more neutral and you know i guess wear into because this is a very light color um and it's also very summery like resort looking type of bag but um you know i saw it and um and i've been thinking about it um even from the other day the last uh pull in bag that i acquired and I, it's been in my cart and um well i decided to get it i think because you know summer's here around the corner in a few days it'll officially be summer and um i don't know i just feel like i didn't want it to be out of stock because it, it, it was like there was a wait list there was a pre-order before when i've checked and this time it was readily available this box is huge like i mean this is the size of the box i'm not gonna lift it from the floor and here we are Polen, Polen. I think you can see the color there already. And again, I would just like to say, because I don't like to call these videos false, because it's not like I did this all in one sitting. Like again, this has been purchases over months, and since I was thinking of doing the YouTube channel, I've just had them aside, and also because I haven't had a need. For, well, except for the Dolce Gabbana bag, that was a recent purchase. And this is her. Now, this one, unlike my cognac one, I think I will wear um, out, as in like with these. Oh, this one's a little bit different. This has like adjustable straps. Oh, maybe my other one does too, and I just didn't use them that way. Anyway. I don't want to like do anything too quickly, but this one like opens up and I think this one I would wear like opened up. This is more of like a summer bag. And the last thing that I wanted to show is a book from this person. Um, her Instagram, I'll, I'll put her Instagram below on the video, but her Instagram is Madame de la Maison. She's an American who lives in France, um, Southern France. And I've found, because before, before Instagram and all these things, I thought I was not alone, but a little bit peculiar in my love of China and uh, plates and tablescapes and teacups and just you know table settings and gatherings and i love planning all of uh, you know small gatherings with friends and that kind of thing and i really thought it was like kind of like just me i mean when i'd go to macy's with my mom you know while she shopped and stuff besides the perfume which i always came out with my own concoction because i tried on all the perfumes at the same time um after the perfumes what I, I wanted to go to like the the china section you know and look at plates and teacups and all that kind of stuff so anyway the point is, is that i've found many kindred souls on instagram and she's one of them um her name is ajiri aki but it's uh, her instagram is madame de la maison and she just um released this book it's called joie a parisian's guide to celebrating the good life i haven't opened it yet i just got it yesterday i ordered it on amazon but I know her content. And I mean, just even like opening the pages, it's beautiful. So she sells like antiques and you know, um, she posts tablescapes and um, she wears like very nice like linen, like clothing. I mean, her account is just like a peace and joy and like this like content beautiful life you know so if you want to follow her um again i like to follow beautiful things online and for example i need to find out where she got this dress from look how beautiful this dress is so anyway um i'm gonna take a look at it after this video um it's really it's a really pretty blue i mean the book itself and then the pictures She has like a self care. Oh, it's it's um divided up in lessons. 
self-care what's old is beautiful again the seating game tips for taking care of silver kids birthday parties linen love oh she wears a lot of linen that i can tell you yeah I believe it is two kids that she has. Um, yeah. She has like an apple cheat sheet for the aperitif. Um, a chat with a wine educator. Let's see, look, this is another beautiful pink linen dress she's wearing here. Anyway, I'm very excited about this book. And um, I think I've made this video long enough. But, you know, I'll see you guys next time. And again, um, probably my content is going to be mixed with teacups, like this beautiful teacup. And, you know, I'm not planning on buying any more bags for the time being or clothes. I do have another perfume in my sights. And again, I think it's a little bit weird because it's not like YouTube a scratch and sniff or anything like that. Um, but you know it, it helps to describe the notes and um yeah but i'll you know i'll post those perfumes when i that perfume excuse me i was between two but i decided one and that those i did try on the other day when i went to the mall um i i, I tried on the perfumes because I, I like to try them on on my they give you those little sample cards where they spray the perfume i always spray it on myself because you know with your body chemistry, perfume smells smell different. So, um, yeah, I like to try it on myself. And also I, the dry down, I almost never buy a perfume blindly like that. And I almost also never buy it right after I try it. Like I try it and I like dry down and I walk around the mall or I think about it. And sometimes if I spray it on a scarf of mine, like I'll get a whiff of it like days later for my coat. Um, and I'm like, oh, this smells really nice. Like the dry down is very nice. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day and um, see you next time. Bye-bye.